If all of us were to write down our top 10 Premier League strikers of all time, I can guarantee that 99% of those lists would not have the name Peter Crouch on them. But why is that? He is one of 33 players to score over 100 goals in the Premier League and holds the record for the most headers in the competition. But how did he get to this point? And no, I'm not talking about his height. I'm actually talking about his footballing ability. Welcome to Football Reminisce and this is the career story of Peter Crouch. Crouch was born in Macclesfield, Cheshire, but his family moved to Singapore when he was only 12 months old, as his father took up a job there. They eventually moved back to England three years later, and at the age of 10, Crouchy was invited to join the Brentford youth setup where he played for around two years. Despite the fact that his family were Chelsea supporters, he turned down a contract offer from the Blues to join QPR. Now that would sound crazy in today's age, but back then, QPR was actually better than Chelsea. He had even worked as a ball boy for Chelsea at the age of 10. Later on, he did admit that he was indeed a Queen's Park Rangers fan. Crouch signed his first professional contract with Tottenham in 1998, but never actually featured for them. Instead, he was loaned out to the lower divisions in England and Sweden. For the next two seasons, he played in the first division for QPR and Portsmouth, scoring 28 league goals in the process. He was only 20 at the time. He got his first taste of Premier League football after Aston Villa successfully signed him from Portsmouth for £5 million in March of 2002. He scored on his Villa debut against Newcastle but unfortunately for him he never held down a first team spot and was eventually loaned out back down to the first division this time to Norwich. He spent only three months there but helped the Canaries gain promotion to the Premier League. By the age of 23, Crouch had already experienced the low of being relegated to the second division with QPR and the high of being promoted to the Premier League with Norwich. By this stage, he had played more than 150 professional games and scored close to 50 goals and been on the books for seven clubs, three of them loan spells. Just over two years after Villa signed him for 5 million, they sold him to Southampton for half the price. Crouch was only a backup for the first few months, but after the arrival of Harry Redknapp, he became a regular. This was the second time Harry and Peter had worked together after previously coming across each other when Harry was the technical director back in the 2001-2002 season for Portsmouth. He scored 12 Premier League goals, but this wasn't enough as the Saints were relegated, the second relegation he had experienced. This brought an end to the Crouchy and Redknapp era, for now though. Just for now, they met again later in the story. Liverpool, the European champions at the time, signed Crouch for £7 million. This was a huge step. Moving from a relegated side to a team that had just completed the Champions League comeback of all time, being signed by them, that was a compliment in itself. That was the only compliment he would get though, for the first four months at least. The first four months in which he did not score a single goal for Rafa Benitez's team. The only lively thing was this chant from the Liverpool fans. He's big, he's red, his feet stick out the bed. That, that was basically it. As expected, he came under a lot of scrutiny but thankfully he ended his drought by scoring a brace in December against Wigan. Just like the old cliche, you wait for a bus, none comes around but then two of them come along together. That was the story of Peter Crouch's first two goals for Liverpool. Finally, the drought was broken. And these two guys actually think Peter Crouch deserves a like on this video for finally ending that drought. We've got two goals guys, two goals. And just like that he went on to score 13 goals including the winner against rivals Man United in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Liverpool went on to win that trophy. His form was so good that he was selected in England's 2006 World Cup squad, scoring in the second game against Trinidad. Back to his club, he scored the winning goal against Chelsea in that year's Community Shield. He was not just up and running, he was flying at this time. In March of 2007, after returning from a broken nose, he scored his first career treble, a perfect hat-trick against Arsenal. Right foot, left foot and header. He also featured in the Champions League final against Milan but unfortunately this time the Reds were only runners-up. 
He did finish the season as Liverpool's top scorer though with 18 goals. This was the first time in his career that he had featured consistently for one club for more than one season. In the 2005, 2006 and the 2006, 2007 seasons, he scored 31 times and played in 98 games, 49 in both campaigns. That's the most games he ever played in a single season in his entire career. The next season wasn't as successful as the arrival of Fernando Torres limited his game time and at the end of that season he was on the move again. Remember Harry Redknapp? It was time to reunite once again, a move back to his former club Portsmouth, the current FA Cup holders at that time. The reunion was short-lived as Tottenham appointed Redknapp. Despite this, Crouch enjoyed a good forward partnership with Jermaine Defoe and featured in all 38 league games, scoring 11 times. He also added another four goals in the UEFA Cup. But it only lasted for one year as Crouchy was on the move once again. And you guessed it, it was none other than Harry Redknapp signing him. He also joined his former teammate Defoe, a mini Portsmouth reunion. In the penultimate game of the season, Tottenham came up against Manchester City fourth and fifth at the time, with only a point separating the two teams. It was simple for Spurs, win the game and he qualify for the Champions League for the first time ever. Up step Peter Crouch, scoring the winning goal against Manchester City in the 82nd minute. Fourth spot back then put you in a playoff game and in that match, Crouch scored a hat-trick against Young Boys to guide Tottenham to the group stage. In his two full seasons with Spurs, he only missed four league games. Much better than his first spell with the club 10 years before that where he never featured at all. Stoke City signed him for 12 million in 2011 and the Potters turned out to be a huge part of Crouch's career. I mean, you would expect that. Peter Crouch, a tall striker, Stoke City, perfect fit and it definitely worked out like that. Before joining Stoke, the most seasons he had spent at one club in one spell was three years at Liverpool. But he went on to play for Stoke for eight years between 2011 and 2019, seven of them in the league. He won Stoke's player of the season and goal of the season awards in his first year there. Quite unfortunate not to win the Premier League goal of the season, although Sissi did score from this angle, so fair enough. He led Stoke to a ninth place finish in back-to-back -back seasons between 2013 and 2015. In 2015, he broke Shearer's record of 46-headed goals in the Premier League. He eventually finished with 53. In 2017, he got to a century of Premier League goals, the oldest player to achieve that. He got to 108 in total. That same year, he broke Amelby's record for most appearances as a sub. That has since been broken by James Milner. His time at Stoke was more than okay. He even had time to become Stoke's all-time Premier League top scorer. Of course, Crouch went on to play for Burnley in the 2018-2019 season. It wouldn't be right if the 6-foot-plus legend didn't feature for Burnley. It had to happen. It was only for six games though as Crouchy retired at the end of that season aged 38. So Crouchy was never the strongest nor the quickest but possessed several other qualities. A good first touch, more than good, an eye for a goal, 205 goals in 735 matches and another 22 goals for his country so he definitely knew where the net was. He was a very good target man due to his ability to hold up the ball and link up with other forwards. He really enjoyed his partnerships especially with the smaller forwards like Jermaine Defoe and Michael Owen. He scored acrobatic goals for fun. I mean, it was for fun. He didn't score just one or two. He was doing it like nearly every single season. So that was Peter Crouch. A great way to start this channel off, you know, at a high ceiling, if you know what I mean. A true Premier League great. Thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.